my name is AJ Pruitt and I am the author of the Anna Thalian series. I'm also a self-published author and I do my own interior formatting. And interior formatting is what this video and this series of videos will be about. Um, so I am going to walk you through all the steps of interior formatting from, I use one of my own books and I took videos from the steps of just having the text and not even having the text in the right font that I wanted all the way up until publishing. So every single step, each video will be a different step. So I'll go in depth into each step, um, as much in depth as you can. Some will be very short, like changing the font type, um, and some will be a lot more in depth, like putting pictures into your manuscript. So if you have any questions about interior formatting, watch this video, watch this series of videos. Also, I have a longer video that talks about many aspects of formatting, and it puts it all in one video so I will link that video below um, this video will be in a playlist once I get more than one video this video and series will be in a playlist but I will also link that long video below so if you um, so if this is one of the earlier videos and you don't find what you want yet you can find what you want in that longer video and you can always ask questions in the comments of course and I'll let you know if it's coming or I'll answer your question right so in this video I'm going to show you how to insert a picture into your books manuscript so even if you don't have a like a picture book you may want like a chapter illustration or you may want your author photo or you may have your um, title page font as a picture rather than font like if your cover designer draws it for you to match the cover um, I do that with my um, Anathalian series books so um, but this book I'm working on is a children's chapter book and it has pictures in each chapter and they are going to be color usually you're gonna have black and white pictures so you want to make your picture black and white or however you want it before you insert it into the document so um, I've got these in here and the one I'm going to insert I'm gonna look and see if it is how I want it and it's not how I want it it's turned you want to turn it before you put it in your document or that's gonna cause problems so just open it in your photo app or whatever you have on your um, computer here I'm gonna rotate it till it's the correct way and usually if your picture was black and white you would go in here and make it black and white um, and then you just I think it automatically saves the simple rotation but if you edit it you have to save it as like a copy or something okay so it's correct now all right so now I'm gonna put my cursor where I want it and I am gonna make an extra little space right here I want it right here where it comes in in the story and then you go up to your insert tab now you could copy and paste it into your document and I did that with my first three books for the Anathalian series and that usually worked but you can run into some weird stuff if you do that if you insert it like I'm gonna show you it works a lot better and you won't have as many problems I've still run into a few problems but that's because word is nitpicky okay so insert tab insert pictures say from this device because you got it saved on your computer <clears throat> and it should open it soon okay there we go to do to do gotta open all my folders and my folders to do okay so here's the picture we want and it will insert it in there and it will insert it in there poorly okay um, and so you're gonna go over here and you're going to say text wrap do that first and we want it top and bottom so the text isn't touching it on top or bottom and like it's gonna make sure the text doesn't wrap around it so yeah hopefully that makes sense what I'm saying okay so text wrap first and then we're gonna position it more layout options and you're gonna say alignment we don't want it aligned left we want it aligned centered and this is usually what you're gonna do if you have different pictures it may be different but in general you're gonna want your picture centered relative to the column make sure those two are checked um, this vertical position in, sometimes you're gonna use it on here but because it's in the middle of the text we're gonna leave that alone right there alright so okay and it's gonna put it in the middle so I think I'm going to put 
another space above it just for a little bit of space. All right, so that is how you insert it into your document. All right, and one more, well, maybe two more. So go up here to the View tab because when you have a book, um, the book and you upload it to whatever platform you're going to upload it on, the picture has to stay within the margins. And I turned on from the View tab, I turned on my grid lines. The grid lines show where my margins are. The, like the text does not come outside the margins and you don't want anything else to come outside the margins. And so right now you can see my picture is right on the margins and so it will be accepted whenever I upload it. I could make it smaller and again I would have to go back to the picture like I showed you and center it again because anytime you do anything to this picture it might move it. So you might want to go back and just make sure it's still centered still where you want it. But turning on your grid lines will help you so much to get your picture exactly where you want it. Whenever I do my illustrations for my Anathalian book, I will align them along with the grid lines at the very top to make sure they're all in the same space at the beginning of a chapter. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I explain more with that in my other longer formatting video, so if you want an explanation about that, do go watch that. I'll link that below. But one thing I like to do with my picture, so let's go back to the picture. Click picture format up in the tab. I like to give it the blurred edges right here just to make the softer edges. Um, <clears throat> that just It just makes it kind of flow better with the text instead of just like this harsh picture. I, I'm not sh I always do that with my Anathalian books. I'm not 100% sure if I want to keep that or do some other border with this children's book. But right now, I'm going to keep it with that. So if you want to have some kind of different border, you can go to these options. Like, that's I don't want that. That looks ridiculous. Um, but see, you can get different things. And like, you can watch how it's moving things around. Every time you do any little thing to your picture, you got to go back and make sure it's exactly where you want it to be. But I still have my space on top, my space on bottom, like I wanted it. And I'll go back and check like I told you to check. Um, so if you have any other questions about pictures, weird things happening, because I have had all the weird things happening to me, please do ask in the comments below. But that's all I'm going to share with you in this video. Please ask questions if you want. Remember, this is part of a series. Please check the playlist to see if you need any other help with any other aspect of formatting. And there's that longer video that you can look at that will be in the description below. Always ask questions if you want to ask questions. This is a difficult process to do your own interior formatting, so please ask questions. Let's help each other. Um, please comment this comment. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video and this playlist with others so they can find it too and have help too. And thank you very much for watching. Bye! If you want to know more about Anathalian or H.A. Pruitt, please follow me on Instagram at H.A. Pruitt. You can find me on Amazon as an Amazon author, H.A. Pruitt. Please watch my YouTube channel and all my cool videos on my channel, H.A. Pruitt Anathalian. You can find me on the Facebook page, H.A. Pruitt Anathalian. You can follow me on Goodreads by the name H.A. Pruitt and the book Anathalian. Or you can go to my website where so much cool stuff about Anathalian is. The website is hapruitt.com.